Hi and welcome to the first in a series of brand new F Expansion Geist Quick Tip videos. In this video I'm going to take you through a couple of the new features in version 1.0.2.8. If you haven't already updated to this version, uh, head over to the F Expansion website, log in, go to support downloads and you'll see the new version there. So there's a couple of really nice new features in this version which were things that were heavily requested by users when we first released Geist. The first of which is some more features for the automation and more specifically a randomizer. So we always had this insert graph here which is where you can insert uh, funky automation shapes. Here I'm editing the velocity of this hi-hat line and I've inserted a sine wave shape. Now obviously this is going across the entire four bar pattern that I've got going here and I may want that sine wave frequency to be different. So we have these new buttons here which allow us to double or halve the frequency. So if I press times two you can see the frequency doubles there. Another new addition is the offset compressor expander and randomizer knobs. The offset knob will basically apply a fixed offset to every single step so you can just add and subtract a fixed amount to that so that's really handy. The compressor expander on the other hand does just as its name suggests and between the two of them it's very easy to dial in just the right settings. And then finally we have the randomizer and the randomizer isn't exactly a true randomizer but it has a little bit of control added to it so you can basically randomize from the current position to the maximum or to the minimum so if I push the knob upwards you can see that it starts dialing in random amounts between the current amount and the theoretical maximum of that graph. If I pull it downwards, it starts randomizing between the current amount and the theoretical minimum value of that graph. So the more I pull in, the sort of less the value will become. And these, this randomization is fixed, so it's actually editing the graph in real time, hence the uh, edit mode. If I, um, if I undo that, there we go. If I go to live mode, um, I can actually apply randomization live. Let's say I put in 50% randomization. What that's going to do is it's going to apply a randomization for each step of between the current value and 50% towards the theoretical maximum. And it's doing that live for every step. It's not that easy to hear on velocity, but if we go to something like coarse pitch, if I um, put all the pitches to the very least they can be and then put the live mac live randomization up to 100% that's going to randomize between the lowest pitch and the highest pitch available so and of course I don't have to use 100% I can use small amounts which will give me And from here I can use the offsets as well. Um, one of the nice things about having the offset and compressor mode uh, live mode is that we can actually MIDI learn those. So I can assign those to a knob or slider on my MIDI controller keyboard and actually perform with those live. Now the other big new addition to 1.0.2.8 is the envelopes in the pads and layers page have been completely overhauled. Uh, we used to have just a tiny little graphical envelope up here. We now have these beautiful lovely big envelopes that actually overlay the waveform so you can actually see what you're doing in relation and these are sample accurate so you can genuinely see uh, what's going to happen when in your envelopes. Uh, as before, we have the amp envelope and we also have the freely assignable envelope. We have the spleen curves, which are a really nice feature. And up here, we can assign uh, different destinations to the two envelopes. 
So those are the new features for 1.0.2.8. Thanks for watching.